so here we are 93 hours later um, it was a long drive from the Johannesburg Airport I'm really looking forward to the next 10 days with you guys it's so nice to have you back here with us Steve and um, Yuri and the team will look look after us very well here at the lodge um, I'm looking forward to some some good hunting and Susan I hope you you also have a great time here um, and enjoy your first time here in Africa You can take the head of the table first, please. Okay. There you go, sir. I don't need to take the head, but that's all right. <laughs> We'd like you to. Okay. <laughs> This morning we'll go and just check the rifles on the shooting range to make sure that they are still on and um, after that we'll, we'll go for a drive and kind of get familiar with the area mm -hmm. so that you can see what it, the look, uh, outlay looks like and as we go along we'll be mainly hunting for buffalo looking for fresh tracks or opportunities uh, but as we go along and we find opportunities on animals that's on your list, we'll, um, we'll stop and we'll go for that. Um, the bush is pretty green and thick at the moment and the tracking's not easy with the stall grass, so we'll, we'll take our opportunities as they come. Do you have it, you have it set above a little yeah. bit at 100? Got it. At 100, above, at 100 meters. And then it's zero, so 200. And um, okay. at 250, it's, you know, after 250, it's just dropping off. You don't have to compensate. Yeah. It should be fine, but we can fine tune it. Okay, we we'll go to the same one there. Yeah. So there we go. That's safe. That's fire. Four sixteen Rigby. Um, and those are 350 this grain. This got a little bit of a hollow so point, kind of a... These ones are 400 expanding. grain Barnes X, but it's sighted with those. I see, so um, I wanted to try this one. So, no, we'll use those. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll use those that it's sighted with. Those are really good uh, swift A-frame bullets. Mm. And they, well, if you feel comfortable, we can close it and um, take a shot right at the middle there. Okay. And the safety on this one is... This is safe. Mm -hmm. That's fire. Okay. So there it is, just above the where the bullseye is. Makes a triangle. A little high. So it's at the top of that um, thing. But um, <coughs> a little low. It's uh, how did you feel? Shooting from the sticks, it's not 100% steady. Yeah, no, it's not bad. It's just, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a gonna, little wobbly. I mean, it's. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring it down a couple of clicks because the, the height is almost good. Oh, it did shoot up, huh? Yeah, so we'll just bring it down two clicks and then call it good. Okay. Because um, that's that's your average distance average. On, on a buffalo. This is your average distance. Mm -hmm. um, but then sometimes on a second shot, They'll be running away and it may be 200 yards away and with the 416 you can still reach it. Um, so this, the way it's sighted now, 
it shoots perfectly up to 200 yards. Virtual as uh, what you call a shadow stripe, which is um, a pretty dark brown within the white. Mm -hmm. So the Hartman would be more ex a distinct black and white, where the uh, Virtuals will have a bit more brown. Well, we, we shot a har I shot you a shot a Hartman, yeah. yeah. And the stripings are just more. What do you think makes a prettier rug? The, the Hartman's definitely the prettier one because of the distinct mm -hmm. uh, dark black and white stripes and the white belly that they have. Mm -hmm. We left early this morning. We're going out looking for fresh buffalo sign. We've got a couple of the trackers sitting on top of the hills, glassing as the sun comes up to see if they can see them feeding somewhere. And as soon as we get a direction of where they are or maybe, we'll, um, we'll go on foot and start following them. So, uh, yeah, wish us luck. <laughs> Well, it looked like the, the scouts had had spotted a herd of uh, buffalo, but they were mostly cows and young bulls. And so we're gonna go off and try to find another bunch of buffalo, see if we could find the big ones. And uh, it's still early in the morning, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see something here shortly. If not, we'll keep plugging on. There's a nice group of sable there. Vuso saw them this morning and he said that there's a big bull that joined. It's a bunch of cows. So um, maybe we should just get off and, and stalk them and see okay. when we get a bit closer if that bull is as big as he said it was. Let's go check it out. All right.
it's gonna when that one starts feeding again we'll slowly get to that bush there We should take him. Yeah, yeah. Slowly make it to this tree. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna move a little bit, but we'll move very slowly. And we'll stay very low down that way and then around to that bushes there and then we can just hold up there so or later it's gonna show himself okay okay some of them's moving this way so I'm just gonna move over there Here we go, can come over here. Okay, can shoot him. Through the grass on the middle of the shoulder. Ooh, good shot. Very good shot. Alright. Like Just reload. Shot. Just reload. Just for in case. There we go. Wait, wait. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Just for in case he dropped him right in his track. Beautiful animal, man. <laughs> Congratulations. <Thank> you. Yeah. <laughs> you tested our patience there for a while, eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we can take the camouflage off. <laughs> Good looking bull. Very, very pretty. It's nice and heavy. Yeah. Perfectly symmetrical. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Your first one for this trip. Yeah. Well, Steve, here we are. A beautiful sable. Yes. Um, this is our second day. Uh, Buso spotted them with, uh, spotted a herd, and this bull was with the herd. Mm. He came out, checked them out, and um, was able to get on him. You made a perfect shot at about, what, 80, 100 yards? Yeah. He went straight down and that's a beautiful trophy. I just want to congratulate you. Yeah, thank you. Um, the first one for this trip, he yeah. surely is beautiful. It is a beautiful animal. Very symmetrical and 
big bases, pretty animal. Yeah, we had to crawl a little bit to get to it. There was about six of them behind him. We had to wait till he stood up. And uh, even then, I was a little concerned about shooting one behind him, but it worked out and uh, got a beautiful animal. Yeah. Had a good time, it was good stock. Enjoyed it, thank you very much. So in Vusso, you saw a couple of old buffalo bulls this morning. They were bedded down in that camphor bush over there. So we've got a perfect wind and we've got a lot of time left for today. So um, we're slowly going to make our way up there and he's going to point out where he saw them. And then when we get there, we'll see what kind of plan we can make. Um, if there's a good opportunity and there's a big bull, we'll go ahead and take it. Um, but yeah, first we just have to get there and see yeah. what the situation is. All right, All right, let's go. So the buffalo is better down in front of us here, not far. So um, also be ready, you know, maybe if they hear something and they get up and they come walking out and there's a big one and he's like really close, you can, I'll, I'll say shoot and you can shoot him offhand, you know, because he'll be so close. So um, just, just be alert. <laughs> Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. That's it. Okay, reload. Come this way. Actually, go this way. That's fine. Come with me. This way, Steve. 
just stay with me here and go ahead. He's just, he, he might charge us. Don't go in front of me, just walk with me. Okay, just with me. That was a good shot. He's in this bush here. Man, down. He's still alive, but he's, he's hurt. That was a good shot. It was a very good shot. We're not out of the woods yet, but we're gonna slowly go that way and see if we then get an opening to shoot him again. Okay, just stay with me. Okay, let's reload again. Here you can put this bullet in. Okay, here you can see see the, the back of the shoulder. Yeah. Give him one like right behind that, that sure. point. Yeah. That's it. All right. That should do it. Man, these animals are tough. Yeah. I was wondering where his friend is. <laughs> yeah. They sometimes come back and they kind yeah, of surprise you. Yeah, and they surprise you. And they'll come and fight. Awesome. <laughs> that was fun. No was. Man, it worked out well. Whew. Sometimes it's not a physical challenge, but a mental challenge, you know? Man, he's a beautiful old bull. Beautiful bull. Whew. He's heavy and he's smooth here on top. He's a beautiful bull. You done, old boy? <sighs> Congratulations, yeah. I really yeah. enjoyed that. I hope you did that too. Was fine. Yeah, that worked out in a very mild manner <laughs> for yes. a buffalo hunt, right. which, is, uh, which is sometimes good. We, we take it when it comes yeah, our it way. Yeah.
Well, Steve, here we are, <coughs> a beautiful buffalo. This morning, we uh, we found that beautiful sable, and as we were taking picture uh, pictures, Mbuso came over and said that he had seen two big old buffalo bulls, and uh, brought us towards his, where he saw him, and we got lucky. We saw them quickly before they saw us. Yeah, and. Um, we had to, to wait for them because they were sleeping. We had to wait for them to stand up, which felt like forever. I, get, look, it, I looked at my, it was about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours yeah. we stood there looking yeah. at them. <laughs> and it, it finally worked out and you made yeah. a perfect shot on a beautiful old Daga bull. Just want to congratulate you. Yes. Thank on you. a beautiful bull. Thank you. That you enjoy the experience. Thank you for spotting them while they were laying down. I didn't see them. <laughs> Yeah, we got lucky on that you one. looked at them, they looked like a couple of big boulders. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the, <clears throat> the animal that kills the most hunters out of any other animal in the world every year without fail. So um, whenever we get them like this, we will take it. <laughs> yeah. We're very glad it went well. Uh, your shooting was perfect and um, we're all safe and sound to go and enjoy a beer yes. at the lodge. Or two. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was very enjoyable. I'm happy as happy as can be. Nice bull, and it it just it worked out great. They were bedded down, and uh, and not we were able to get fairly close to them and and uh, be able to put a good shot on them. Yeah. After two and a half hours of waiting in the sun, but <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> worked out. Very nice good. old bull. Got a lot of character, yeah. and he didn't run very far. Only went a few yards. Well, thank you very much once yes. again, and congratulations. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I'll have the memories forever. This is one of the main, main animals I came to Africa to get. Hi, babe. I heard the shot. You did. I did at 218. Yeah, that's about right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, did you hear the three more after that? No, I didn't. I heard that one. Put four shots in him. Gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> I welcome you to Heritage Dinner. Uh, congratulations for your buffalo and sabu hunt. Thank you. Let's give uh, Then uh, we come back to our dinner today. Our starter is uh, a tomato tart. Then our main course is uh, uh, fish uh, hake. It's a parcel fish hake. Then our vegetables is cauliflower and broccoli. Mm. Rice is oriental rice with a dash of uh, sauce on your rice. Last but not least, our dessert from my wife and only master. <laughs> it's called? It's called uh, Don Pedro. We're going to make you a surprise in Don Pedro to celebrate it. Uh, it's uh, ice cream 
and uh, any choice of your whiskey or amarillo or any liquid mm. that you prefer. Mm. So we're going to have a Don Pedro for the dessert. Thank you. Thank you. We're here at White Lion Safaris and uh, on a safari hunt trying to uh, hunt several game at species that I'd like to take and uh, we've uh, so far shot a beautiful sable and a nice buffalo and we're going out today here it's on our third day of the hunt and looking for some additional animals to shoot and uh, having a great time here at White, White Lion Safaris a wonderful place wonderful accommodations and the people are superb and very, very nice. And so we're looking forward to a good day today. We're about ready to leave here for an afternoon hunt. And uh, we look forward to it. Uh, you see his face there? So he's still, he must still be very young. Yeah, so when you measure their horns, it's got a little ridge that goes around the horns. Mm -hmm. So the thicker the horns are, the longer it will measure. Mm -hmm. And the thin horns, it won't measure very long. Mm -hmm. so that one, it looks long, but it's, it's very thin, thin so right. it's going to measure. The other one, yeah. yeah, it's not going to measure well. And that, that one with the long tips is very young. He's a, he doesn't have any right. dark in his face. You can take him again. That's it. That was a good shot. Very good shot. <laughs> okay, next time we'll just, uh, if it's so close, we'll just walk back away. <laughs> there he goes into that bush. <laughs> I'm used to shooting on the run. <laughs> Popped the first time, but I must have got him low. And yeah, he jumped a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a beautiful animal. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad you decided to take him. Let's go get him first, though. Wow, wow, that is beautiful. They have bigger bodies than what they look like when you see them out there. The yeah. Very nice, very beautiful trophy. Very happy for you. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, <Yeah. laughs> quite typical on an older animal, they get nice and dark here and um, it's actually the Kafui Lechwe, these this two different kinds, mm -hmm. but um, over here they are classified different but they look exactly like the Kafui Lechwe with these dark chests. This afternoon, we left this afternoon around 2.30 from the lodge today and we're going to do an afternoon hunt. And we came upon this lechwe 
beautiful animal. And uh, got out and made a stock on it and, uh, and ended up shooting it twice. But we finally got it. It finally was on its way, kind of gut shot the first time. But the second time it was quarter, quartered him about 150 yards out and uh, he went down, fortunately. Yeah, a beautiful animal. It looked really, really good on the wall. Um, we're hoping to have a couple of steaks off of them here in the next couple of days too. <laughs> I hear, I hear they're very good eating, so looking forward to that. Yeah. Beautiful day today. God, it's probably 75 degrees out and nice winter Sunday winter day in South Africa. Sure and, is a beautiful day. Yeah. Right. Really happy with it. Sure is a beautiful animal and a great trophy. Um, congratulations, yeah, thank Steve. you. Thank you. Yeah. Gentlemen, my name is Makwara. I am going to introduce what we have uh, cooked for you tonight. That is a braai. A braai. Today we are going to uh, give you what you have shot. That mm -hmm. is the buffalo, buffalo, and sabo. Then uh, we do also some uh, bovos. We also some pork sausages. We have some uh, lamb chops and chakalaka is uh, our sauce. Then we also have two different types of uh, salad. Then uh, our dessert, our starter, it was a uh, butternut soup. Mm. Last but not least, our dessert is a fruit salad with whipped cream. I hope you enjoy your dinner. So here we are, the fourth morning of your safari. Uh, it's a beautiful day. We had a lovely breakfast. Um, we're planning to go out to a part of the ranch that is a little thicker, mm. more brush, and uh, Elon tends to hang out in there. We'll go and walk through it and see if we can find them. Okay. And uh, take it from there, I'm looking forward. Yeah, I am too. <coughs> it is a beautiful day. It sure is. Nice and cool on a winter day. Actually, it's gets warm but it's nice and crisp this morning so yeah it's gonna be fun be good we've seen a lot of animals and and uh, looking forward to trying to find a big kudu We're going to walk through this thicker brush here. It's a beautiful sunny morning, so see if we can find a herd of eland. There should be a few herds with cows and there may be big bulls with them this time of year, so we'll go see what we we'll can see. find. All right, sounds good. There's a lot of eland tracks here, but it looks like a herd of cows. I don't see a, a big bull will have a track like this. Big.
here at White Lion Safaris. My wife is going to join us for an afternoon hut and uh, look forward to going out and for the first time having her see the countryside and, and uh, with the rest of us. Ja, siis toch man, ik heb water brengen. Ik moet gaan water drinken, John. It just got dehydrated. Did she drink all that or he? Yeah, about half of that. So oh. that should help it. But they get dehydrated. Um, in the shame. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. The sun is setting now. So. I got served. So I didn't ask for it. <laughs> it's five o'clock, isn't what? it? Another beautiful morning. So we'll go um, where we saw that harder beast the other morning about this time where he came out of the bush into the open. Uh -huh. We'll go in that direction, see if we can okay. see him. Yeah, and, good. and if we can see some zebra or eland in that plane before they can see or hear us, maybe we can make a plan and get on them. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say we should probably go try to see if we can spot that big boy again. Yeah, yeah. Must be the stallion. He's kind of, you know, so he's looking after his harem. As blue will the beast already moved in here with these other zebras, which is good. Those ones will come across. That's good. Let's go around the side. Give it one more try. Okay. One more try. They stopped again. Let's have a look at them and see if there's a nice big one. Another one walking in front. Looks like another stallion. Yeah, it's also a stallion. He's got a thicker neck. Yeah, yeah he's a big one also. He's one here. You can take him out if you want to. You can take him right there. Looks like a good hit. Yeah. He's a fat one. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about the casing unless you want to keep it. <laughs> be hitting the shoulder, Here we go. I think. Just for in case. It looked like a very good hit. We'll just give him a little time. 
before we go up there. Beautiful, beautiful Hartmann zebra. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> and a very, very good shot. Look at all the blood. Yeah. You see what I mean? <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's got a nice... Right here. Yes, perfect. Yeah, it doesn't have that many fight marks and bite marks. It's gonna be a beautiful rug. Yeah. Well, we came out this morning and, and we spotted this herd of Hartman zebra and uh, it was quite challenging. They kept eluding us on our stock and uh, we finally drove around and spotted them again and got out and in total we probably walked a couple of miles after it and uh, finally had some good cover. Um, we had to get kind of go around a few wildebeest and springbuck and, and a couple of other species to get to it, but uh, we were able to make a good stock. Rickus was able to get, get me on it within about 200 yards and, uh, and I made a good shot on it. Had a real nice male Hartman here that make a nice rug. <laughs> Looking forward to it. So the Hartman zebra um, has this clump of fat, little dewlap, which mm. the Birchels doesn't have. The Birchels tend to have a shadow stripe in the white, like a darker brown stripe, where these ones don't really have that. Um, and these ones have a complete white belly, mm. whereas the Birchels, the stripes go all the way around. And um, there's also a different in the ears, are shaped differently. These ones got this very distinct little round mm. tops on the ears. <laughs> and uh, they tend to grow just slightly heavier than the birchels also. It's taking the wind. I'm gonna try. Okay. We saw a big red hearted beast mm -hmm. and um, the wind is not perfect, but we're going to give it a quick try and see if we can get him. around this corner and then we can go back. Seen from the front, yeah, there he is. That's that was him. <laughs> Let's see if we get him again. Yeah, there he goes. That's him. Yes, that thing's big. It's not 
not a nice shot, but it's in there. You see his horns? I'm not too happy with him. It's a nice one. Only if you're very comfortable, otherwise wait for a broadside shot, okay? Really good shooting. Good <coughs> Keep your eyes on him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Good shooting, yeah. man. <laughs> One heck of a shot. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those tips. You know, ideally you're looking for six inches. Mm -hmm. This is like eight inches here. Yeah. More than that. Mm. Very good animal. Good shot. Lots of fun. Yeah. Made us work a bit and walk a bit. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, we got to. <laughs> we, we, we spotted this guy from a long ways away and. and uh, and he was, took some time to get on him. He kept, kept running, he kept seeing us, kept running ahead. They've got great eyesight. This is a great hard beast. One of great, great horns. And, and uh, we were able to get on it. Uh, he gave us a fairly straight on shot, but I had to wait a little bit. I wasn't comfortable with it at the range it was at. And so I, I wanted to wait till he got somewhat broadside and, and uh, Made a good shot on him, and he went about 60, 70 yards before he went down. But I knew I hit him. I heard it. <laughs> Big old whop. After walking, you know, that was exceptional. Top of the heart, both lungs. Um, this bull is really heavy. It comes up nice and high, and then it sweeps back very far also, which is, um, he's got all the traits of a magnificent trophy. Uh, he's going to look very beautiful on your wall. It's got a nice dark face and a, and a beautiful red skin. It, it truly is a spectacular trophy. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't scripted at all. No. <laughs> so tonight we are having lechway, backstrap and inner fillet or tenderloin as you may call it. These are the back straps that's on the grill now. And the fillets will follow soon. And then we've got some beautiful uh, beef T-bone steaks that'll be cooked medium rare on the open fire. Are we on day six of a wonderful safari? Um, today is not as chilly as what we've had. Um, yeah, beautiful day. It went really well. Today we'll go after some eland. Um, we've still got this elusive eland. And then we'll also look for some plain zebra or bushel zebra. And uh, hope we have a successful land today. lovely brisk morning yes it is um, there's some black wildebeest in the plains they haven't seen us or heard us so we're just gonna climb this ridge and see if we see any zebras feeding somewhere that way um, they haven't heard us you know coming around with the vehicle and we'll be able to make a stalk on them while they're feeding mm -hmm. if there's nothing we'll just come back all right sounds good <laughs> I 
So we came for an early morning walk, we climbed on top of this little ridge, and way in the distance we saw a herd of zebras, so we will use the vehicle to get around and a bit closer, and then we'll walk upwind and uh, see if we can cut them off, see if we can be successful. That's them, the other ones are coming over that ridge. Um, but the closest one to us has got a very light skin. We stalked a nice big herd of zebra, but they're in a plains area. And it looked like they're feeding in this direction, slowly but surely. So instead of taking a chance to chase them away, we're just waiting. Let's just see if they feed closer to us or close enough to us. Um, so we can have a good look. If there's a nice big one that we like, we'll go ahead and take it. Um, if not, we'll just pull back out and we'll go, look, go on and look for something else. They're standing right in that, just in the side of that thicker brush there. Mm. So just be patient and let them just move in a little further. It will go closer. They're being very, very careful. I don't know why, but anyways, they haven't seen us. The stallion behind that one that's looking at us also. Yeah, that's a nice big zebra. If you're happy with it, you can shoot it. The one that's looking at you. Yes, point of the shoulder. Just watch it. There, he's gonna go down. He's gonna go down. Oh, what a shot. Oh, yeah. they. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> yes, look at that shot. Perfect shot. Oh, yeah. Perfect where you needed to hit him. Yeah. Beautiful zebra. Nice and big. Yeah, that's a big one. Beautiful, dark. Yeah, what a beautiful morning. We went early and uh, early this morning, we walked on top of a little ridge. We spotted these zebras way, way off in the distance. And um, we headed that, their direction and made a stalk. We found them in some open plains, which was very difficult to get close to them. Um, so we had to be patient and wait for them to move in certain directions. And we were slowly but surely, we were able to get an approach on them to uh, 
to about 250 yards where you made a fantastic shot on a very big zebra. Did you enjoy that? I sure did. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, it was quite the, quite the, quite the stock. Um, looks like we got to the herd cow, lead cow here. She was definitely on alert and, and the biggest one in the bunch. And, and I'm happy to, to get a nice mare here because she doesn't have any bite marks like a stallion would have. And so for a good quality rug, it'll make a, make a nice rug, rug. And so, uh, yeah, it was a great, great, great shot. Uh, we got me on it within about 250 yards, like Rick has said. And, and anyway, that was the end of it. They're in the process of loading this uh, zebra here right now, and, and in the process here, is, uh, it requires a lot of people to, to it, in this production here of loading this zebra, and it provides work for the people here and, and meat, and uh, the whole crew, the skidding crew, the whole everybody involved in, in processing this animal uh, is quite the process. And uh, it, it, it brings a lot of, uh, it helps, uh, helps for the meat situation and also the labor and, and provides labor and, and it's just a good, good all around um, uh, project for uh, when hunting these animals here in Africa and, and, uh, and I'm happy to see it. Please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Makwara. I welcome you to Heritage uh, Dinner. Uh, dinner for today's starter is uh, cream of carrot soup. Then our main course uh, is spare ribs, that is uh, pork, with uh, butternut and uh, baby marrow as our vegetables. Then our start is uh, roasted potatoes. Last but not least, our dessert is cream caramel. Ooh. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Thank you, my brother. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. That sounds delicious. Good morning. It's morning seven this morning. And it's nice and chilly morning here. Probably about 35 degrees. And uh, it's day seven. And we're going out to look for, still got a few animals on the list. I'd like to, to, to try to go after an Elan, an Ayala, and a blue wildebeest and a baboon <laughs> and so uh, we still have a few more days yet and uh, we're going to be heading out here here it's around seven o'clock here in the morning and, and we're going to be see what we can find and uh, hope for a good day. We saw some blue wildebeest out there in the plains and uh, we have some nice cover so we're gonna sneak up there and see if there's any big bulls because this is where we saw some really big bulls the other day in this area so we'll go and have a look. So um, today is a public holiday, so I have the privilege to have my son with me, John. We uh, spotted a group of blue wildebeest bulls, We've got a nice wind, so we're going to stalk them, and see if we can find the client, a big one. Uh, looking forward.
there's four of them, right? Yeah, so the one I like the best is the very right one. <laughs> That's okay. Here they go. Okay, they're feeding right in front there. So I'm just waiting for the right one to come out. Okay. Wait, don't move. Very standing, you see, third from the left. Yeah. Very stops. Yeah. Yep. Oops. Popped him. Popped him just a little far back. Yeah. But but you you hit him. I'm sorry, Steve. I really thought it held up in this this room here because it's so thick, and it came in this direction. I was hoping maybe he's in that valley, but he's not there. I couldn't see him anywhere with the binos. He didn't stay behind, so that basically leaves maybe that thick, thick part of brush here. Mm. Um, the lodge is over there, so why don't we walk like this? There, there he is, there he is. He's coming to the right. Okay. Oh, man. Right here. Well, here we are at the end of the day. You can tell we're a little despondent. <laughs> we um, we found a nice impala. Unfortunately, it got away from us. And uh, just before we did the previous interview, he jumped up right behind us and took off and quickly went to try and get a shot, but he, he just disappeared. And now the end of day has caught us. So um, sometimes when hunting, if you hunt enough, it's going to happen sooner or later. We'll pick ourselves back up and we'll have a, a great day tomorrow. That's just the way it goes. Yeah. You know, yeah. Can't win them all. <laughs> Especially when it gets dark like this. We didn't have much time to look. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. It's day eight at camp here and we're going to head out about an hour from here a long ways and uh, try to go look for Elin. And uh, we haven't been able to find some here locally so we're going to head out to a longer area and uh, we're going to take our lunch with us and uh, we're going to stay out all day and uh, hopefully we'll have some good luck trying to find a big eland and uh, and we'll go from there okay i think we'll walk from here steve we'll get that nice tree line there and we'll get closer and go and have a good look at them a bit closer Very nice white horn, but it is. 
is pretty thin, but it's got a beautiful dewlap and all that. It's got very nice character. You see how his horns kind of point out on mm. the top? I think if you're happy with him, we'll go ahead okay. and take him. Okay. Mr. You got the rifle? Mm -hmm. I'm down. He's lying down. Oh, that bastard. <laughs> okay, maybe we should just look at the other ones nicely. I'm getting a little excited. The one on the left got full of mud. almost on a tee like the one that your friend shot. Well, let's take him then. You sure? Well, I mean, it'd be nice to see it out and stand up again. But yeah, I, I won't lead you astray. <laughs> That's a very good one. When yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Wait for a perfect broadside shot. <coughs> okay. Put it like right in that crease. like on his shoulder okay I think it's on fire now you can it's it's live okay turn him high I think no. there you go there you go um, go I back. think that's just such a big animal yeah. that the 30-06 wasn't enough for him. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, fun was had. text from the tracker it found your impala so we were yeah. off to a very good start yeah pretty exciting yeah, yeah. and um, now we're sitting behind a, a magnificent elon bull yeah i'm real happy real happy to hear that they recovered that impala i mean we tracked it till dark last night and with no no luck but lucky he was able to find it yes that was great and the jackals didn't chew on it so <laughs> the cape is still good and the horns got on some really nice bulls and and there was one exceptional one in there that, that was this one. 
and uh, big animal. You need a little firepower to bring them down and hitting them in the right spot too, but it's a great bull, pretty bull, pretty animal. Magnificent trophy, Yeah. beautiful horns. Um, yeah, beautiful horns. I'd say he'll probably weigh around 1,600 pounds. Yeah. A nice big heavy bull. Uh, he just has nice character in the face. It still has very long horns. It flares out. Mm. It's a really, really nice trophy. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Yeah, we had a successful morning, got a beautiful eland, and um, now we've come to have some coffee and just rest a little bit. We're about to get into a blind where we will sit and wait for a baboon. They tend to come drink water by this water hole every day, and we put some corn out and, and so on just to see if we can draw them in. And uh, hopefully pretty soon here we'll get lucky, they'll come in and we'll end up with a big baboon. Okay, so we are, we are still waiting for a baboon. We came into the lodge because where they come and drink is not far from here. So we'll keep an eye out. We're being nice and comfortable um, in our blind that we put up here for Steve, for his baboon. Well, we're just, uh, we've been here in the lodge here, kind of hanging out, waiting for some baboons to show up at a watering hole. and. Uh, been here since 11:30. It's about it's almost three o'clock, and uh, getting a little impatient. And we don't think they're going to show up, so we're going to move on. We're having a great time. This is our. This is my last day of hunting here at uh, White Lion Safaris, and. Uh, Probably uh, be my second to last breakfast here for the for our trip, and, and uh, we're going out hunting one more day. We're looking for a blue wildebeest, and uh, we've seen some nice bulls recently, the last few days, and we're going to see if we can get on one and and, uh, and try to end my trip with a nice bull. And uh, had a great time here at the lodge. It's a great great uh, facility, great lodge, great people. Beautiful ranch, uh, a lot of game, and uh, can't ask for anything else. It's been a wonderful experience. You know, it's quite chilly this morning. Oh, that bull on the right really looks quite heavy on to me. Uh, he's definitely past the ears. So um, I'd estimate him at about 28 plus. I think he's worth having a closer look, yeah. Same over there, Steve. We must just give it a, a while. Sit down here. Um, we don't have a approach path. So let's just see, maybe they, they're grazing slightly towards us and then we can have a better look. 
Yeah, so Steve, we spotted these four bulls now. Um, we came in slightly closer. Um, we did see them on previous occasions, and um, we of the opinion that there's another group of eight bulls that we've also seen yesterday morning, and that we've got a much better bull in that group. Um, we know where these guys are now, so I think we're slowly going to just uh, retrieve back to the vehicle. We're not going to spook them unless they, they see us when we stand up. Something we should take. It's a nice one. Yeah. Well, you see, the wind has changed now. Get on. So the one in front of the group, that one that turned now. Right. Yeah. Let's just see what he does. Okay, there's your shot. If you're ready, you can take it. Steve, he's basically finished. Congratulations on a very good Blue Wildebeest bull. Um, just mind, he might give you another kick or so. But yeah, I think it's, it's a really decent bull. Yeah. Just going to have a look from the front end. Been looking at some Blue Wildebeest here and we've been trying to trying to get close to a couple of different groups and, and uh, we finally around 2.30 got up pretty close to this guy here and, and uh, took a good shot at him and he dropped real good and uh, real happy with that. It's good to see them when they drop on the first shot. I hear that they're a really tough animal and they sometimes if you don't hit them in the right spot they'll keep running and running and running and so I'm happy to, that we didn't have to run after it. And uh, so I thank you, Yuri, for getting me on them. Make it. Steve, well done. Yeah, they are extremely tough animals, and um, we don't see it often that they go down with one shot. And um, you were covering it well afterwards in case it got up, you were ready for him. Yeah. And I wanted to mention the Umberto and the, our tracker and Skinner here that come along and help us out on the, each day here tracking and recovering these animals and, and, and cleaning them and dressing them and making them into what they are. Um, a beautiful trophy for down the road. And uh, without them, it, 
uh, it wouldn't all come together. And so really happy to have everybody here join in. It's been an exciting hunt. Yeah, and thank you, Steve. Without you, none of us would be here. So we really um, love hosting you guys. And um, thanks for, for allowing us to also do what we enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, we really appreciate that. Well, I'm envious of your job, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish I could stop farming and come do what you do. Yeah. Be, got, I like your occupation. Yeah, it's got us ups and downs, but we love it. Yeah. It's kind of a sad moment that we're all laughing but to hide it. But um, just want to thank you guys very much for a great trip. Um, as always, uh, we had a lot of fun. And uh, yes, we did. You got beautiful animals, uh, but it, it's much more than that. So I'm also glad that you've got the, the video that you and your, your family can watch later. I just want to thank you guys very much for a wonderful time and I'm so glad to have met you, Susan and Steve, to see you again. Hey, hey it's well. just been wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, it's been yeah, it's been good. It sure has been, it's been a great time. Yeah. Yeah. It sure has. And um, Yuri, thank you for looking after us so well and, and making yeah. sure everything ran absolutely smoothly. Such a beautiful, yeah. such a beautiful place too. Yeah. I mean, it's just very comfortable. Yeah. It just went smoothly with, with you guys here. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Good thing the cameraman's not here because we, you know, we, we we'd give him, a, yeah, we'd give him a shot or two. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, that cameraman, he was a little different. Yeah, yeah, he was bossy, a little different, he? wasn't he? So bossy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little wow. cocky too at times, cocky. but but yeah. But kind of funny. Yeah, he was. He, in he, a he, way, funny looking. <laughs> 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 we love you. But I'm black from the waist. <laughs> Don't edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. All right. Here's to you. Yeah. Here's to you. And thank you. And this is yeah. a great <laughs> thank you so cheers. much. Yeah. Thank you. And Susan, South thank African you. African thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. I'll tap you later. <laughs> and thank you, Martin. <laughs> Thanks, Martin. Thank you, you, Martin, guys. for everything. And, you. and you know what? This is going to be be a, a recording for the history. Yes. It'll never die. Of your life. Yep. Yep. For generations to come. Happy Father's Day. Yeah. yeah. To all of you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. To the twins. And to you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs>